If you're looking for a portable EV charger that you can keep in your vehicle and you can plug it in to a regular 110 outlet or a 220 outlet, same cable, uh, then this one could be a good option for you. You can use it for an EV, a regular battery electric vehicle, BEV, or you can use it for a plug-in hybrid. Um, it has the J1772 connector, so that's pretty much standard uh, for a lot of vehicles right now. It might change in the future, but you can always use an adapter. Now, this is the level one and level two. So all you have to do is change the cable at the very end of the connection uh, of the connection box, um, and you can plug it into different outlets. And it's very lightweight. It's easy to use. All it all it has is a status light. It doesn't have a bunch of numbers that you have to keep track of or anything like that. Now, this would be perfect for the type of vehicles that have the information on the dash. So, um, so like say the Nissan Aria doesn't have a lot of information on the dash. So this one might not be the best option for that particular vehicle. But if you have the type of vehicle that has a lot of information on the dash, it shows you how the charge rate and all that stuff uh, on the dash while you plug it in, then this one would be great because you just look at your car and it shows you all the information. This one only has a status light. It shows you when it's charging and then when it's finished charging. And that's that's basically the main the main point of the, the charger, basically. Um, the, the, and the lights aren't overly bright, getting a bunch of attention. Uh, they're relatively dim. Sometimes you kind of have to look at it a little bit close to get an idea of what's going on um, because of that. But you can see it and it's not overly bright. It's, it has a really good bag that you can put in the, in your car. You take out and uncoil it, but it's real easy to put it back in that bag because uh, it's big enough. It's like a, it's like a hard shell type bag. Uh, it's, it's, it has some structure to it, basically, and you can put it in there and then coil it up, and then it's, there's enough room to easily do it. You don't have to cram it in there and, and get frustrated trying to fit it back in the bag. Um, but yeah, you know, 32 amp, it, a lot of people... Or there's a lot of chargers on the market that has 40 amps. Uh, but really, if you're charging overnight, 32 amps is fine. I mean, I actually charge below that. I charge in the like 23, 24 amps typically because it's going to be 100% charged before morning anyway. Um, so I just do it a little lower amps, a little bit less stressful on the electrical system on the house, that kind of thing. Uh, so 32 amps is plenty uh, for the average person. But the 110, level 1, uh, 110 portion, it's going to take a long time to charge the car, but it does give you the ability to add miles to your vehicle at any outlet, regular outlet. Uh, so that is a huge plus, especially if you're out somewhere, you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, that is a, I think it's a good peace of mind to have that with you anyways. Uh, but yes, the Electron Portable EV Charger, uh, and it's 12 amp to 32 it's either 12 or 32 depending on what connector you put on it um but yeah i I, th I think it's 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 probably one of my favorite as far as usability because it's it's overly it's really simple and i don't have to worry about too much i don't have to have any buttons to press or anything like that i just plug it in the vehicle it charges and i'm done